Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Oh my god, that sounds like I'm writing an email. <laughs> anyway, for today's video, I have a little new look haul that I wanted to share with you guys. The new look is easily one of my favourite clothing shops. Um, probably ever. I think 90% of my wardrobe is actually clothes that I've bought from New Look over the years. Before we jump into it, just to give you an idea, I am a size 14 and technically I am petite but I don't really shop from the petite range because I don't feel like there's that good of a variety. Having said that though, I do have a few clothes from the petite range and I think I have one thing from the style for less range. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have one item from the style for less range which I'm really really excited to try out so yeah let's just get started okay, so this is the first top and I really really like this it's quite a nice light uh, quite thin top actually but it would be perfect for work all of the clothes that I got actually are in a size 14 but for those of you with slightly thicker arms for size 14 this is actually quite tight around the arms and because it's it's type of fabric that has no stretch you haven't got much mobility in this area it's quite tight I can actually feel it quite tight here the actual top itself is true to size I would say but when it comes to the arms I think this part is where I usually have problems it does come up a bit too tight when I lift my arms everything everything just lifts <laughs> unfortunately it's gonna be a no for this but we got more to try on anyway and hopefully the sleeves won't be a problem next up we have this little top which is actually a bodysuit i'm not sure what this texture is called i will tell you honestly though when i saw it in the pictures up close i wasn't really excited about it i thought it was going to be like scratchy or just really tight or see-through but having it on now actually it's not <laughs> it's growing on me i am conflicted about this top because i really thought i wasn't gonna like it and actually i really do like it i like the detail on the sleeve um and i think this is actually something that i would wear at work next up we have this little red dress and i adore it i love this it is so comfy what is even better this isn't actually from the petite range but as a five foot tall person i appreciate the fact that this ends above my knee my only complaint about this dress would be that it's a tad see-through. I can, I can just about see where my leggings end underneath. The sleeves fit, and I think there's and there's space as well, which is always a plus. This is this is probably the best one so far. Hmm. I don't even know where to start with this. First of all, it's scratchy around my arms, and just basically wherever there's elastic. I am very confused buy this. This is ribbed knitted fabric. Then you got this bit, which... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not liking it. I, I don't... I don't think this works and I'm itchy. It makes me itchy. <laughs> but I don't like it because it is really scratchy and uncomfortable around my arms. I could not wear this an entire day. Not, not, not for me. No, but if it was just this with normal sleeves, not the poofy kind of weird things, I would like it because I like I like the top bit. I just don't like the sleeves. So this next dress um, is actually from the petite range, and it's quite a simple everyday kind of dress. And at the back of the neck, you know where you would have like a button to like button it up. It's actually a tie, which is quite long. So. You know, if you've got your hair up, you can like tie it in a nice bow. I'm not sure how well it would hold up in a windy situation um, because there's so much room underneath here. But actually, this dress, I think it's perfect for those occasions when, you know, you go out with your family and have a massive meal, like for Christmas, for example, and, you know, you end up with a massive food baby that you just, you know, you don't really fancy people seeing, so you can just wear this dress and no one's gonna know. <laughs> it also kind of gives me a Wednesday Adams feel. <laughs> it's just one of those dresses where I feel like I, if I wear, I can be moody in this and it would go with my moodiness. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think it came in black and white but no other colors. I'd like it to come in like a red or a green or a burgundy or a blue, as much as I like wearing black. I feel like this dress kind of makes me think that 
I'm going to be going to a funeral. And that's obviously that's not a nice bar to have. I would like it in a different colour, but you know what? I like it. I think this is a keeper. Okay, so this is a top. It also doubles as an apron. I bought this top because I used to wear stuff like this growing up. I used to love wearing like a shirt and then a jumper on top of it and then you know the shirt peeking out from underneath the jumper i used to love that now from the picture i can tell actually how far down this actually goes my biggest issue with it is that this shirt bit apron-y bit peplum bit i think it's meant to be like kind of like a peplum jumper but i think this just starts a bit too high up this bit is so cozy like, can I just have an extension of this, please? But you know, with this, I feel like if you, if I went into a hotel and pretended to be a cleaning lady, they'd probably believe me. I like it, but I don't. I think, I think we really need to stop trying to make these work or, you know, just go back to the good old style of where the shirt is just peeking out from under a jumper. Um, Cause that, that kind of worked better. I think this is something else that we need to stop trying to make cool. <laughs> or work because I don't think it looks cool or works. I'm trying to think really hard of what situation would you be, could you wear this in? Because if I go to work like this, for example, I might just be the center of many questions. Where, where would you wear this? Where would you wear this? Seriously. Like, look, I feel seeing these in, out of the corners of my eyes makes me feel like I'm in a swimming pool and I have those little arm bands on that make you, that are supposed to make you like float, you know, so you don't drown when you're a kid. What, what is the point? What's the point? What is the point? I don't get it. Maybe if it started higher up. Nah. I mean, you know what? There's one good thing to these. It hides fat arms. <laughs> Having this t-shirt on really makes me feel not self-conscious at all about my arms. I am still trying to think of what, in, what, what, where would you wear this? Where would you wear this? I don't know, maybe ballet. T-shirt is actually quite nice and cozy. If you guys have any suggestions on where would you wear this t-shirt? please do let me know in the comments down below because I am genuinely struggling for ideas. As I said, it might just be my opinion. I am really struggling with coming up, you know, with ideas of where you would wear something like this. Next up, I have this little skirt. I don't know how much of it you can see. It's a little gray checkered pencil skirt. It's a mini skirt, so depending on how tall you are as well, I am quite, I am five foot tall, so I can get away with pulling it quite high up on my waist, which I do like high waisted things anyway. It does ride up a bit as I'm walking, so maybe if you're walking up the stairs wearing this, don't have anyone behind you. It's actually quite a comfortable skirt. I mean, there's nothing more to it. There's, it, it doesn't have a zipper or anything like other skirts do. It's literally got just this elastic um, band around the waist and that's, that's about it, really. That's all there is to it. I think it's a bit too thin, so anything that you would want to like tuck in and wear like underneath it, I think would probably show. I don't really know what else to say about it. It's a skirt. It does what a skirt does. Okay, so the next item is this little top. It's a little peplum kind of top with bell sleeves, or at least an attempt at bell sleeves. It's quite light and it's quite a thin fabric as well. It's very stretchy. It feels quite large. I mean, it is a size 14. Compared to the apron top, I don't think this looks like an apron. It also depends on what the top looks like. Like, that combination was not a good combination, I don't think. But after that, I didn't really have high hopes for this. I, I actually quite like this. This is... I really like it. I don't know if it's the sleeves, maybe, or just, you know, just how actually loose this is as well, which I don't mind. It's quite casual, but it's very comfy. I think this, this top is kind of one of those that you can wear in a lot of situations. Next up is this leather jacket. So I got this because it was in the style for less range, which means that compared to other biker jackets, this was actually cheaper and I wanted to see the quality of it. So this is just your box standard leather jacket. There's no fancy design to it, no like extra belts or anything like that. There's literally just this kind of 
side zip and it's got pockets and that's literally all there is to it. I would definitely recommend this. It, you know what? It's actually quite cozy. It's quite warm. I am warming up in this <laughs> as I just stand here and just move about or gesture about. It's got fairly big pockets. Um, if I can actually show you how big the pockets are. But it's got fairly big pockets. It's quite comfy. And you know what? The fact that it, it is a bit tight around here I don't actually mind that much because I can still do this without feeling like it's gonna rip. The sleeves, for me, <laughs> are a bit long. You can just about see a couple of my fingers, but um, I mean, that's not a bad thing. So I, I quite like this. I would totally recommend it. Okay, so I've got another dress here. This is pretty much the red dress from earlier, but in the black version with polka dots, which the polka dots, I thought they were gonna be white, they're not. They're like brown. They're like an off. No, they're not brown brown, but they're like an off white. It fits well. Um, it's pretty much the same kind of fabric. You know, it's got the elasticated waist and the band, which I guess on this one it ties at the front. It's kind of also giving me grandma vibes. So, and it is a bit long. Oh my god, my hair is in my face. And it is a bit longer than the red dress because it goes over my knee. So, sorry dress, but you, you're too long. <laughs> this is just a big, big no, hard pass. I'll tell you the things that you need to know about this stuff quickly so I can take it off. So, first things first, as you can see, it is a little blue mesh top with rosy detail, whatever. I liked it because I thought it was quite cute and, you know, just different, you know, quirky. I couldn't tell from the pictures whether it has an underlayer or not. So I thought it would come with an underlayer because obviously it's see-through. It doesn't. It doesn't have an underlayer. It's literally just the top as it is. Worst, worst thing about it is it is incredibly, uh, not stretchy. Oh, come on, don't mutter your words up. It's so itchy, I can't even think straight not comfortable to wear like it's itchy everywhere i'm not a massive fan of the sleeve i think it's it's trying to be like a puff sleeve it no no I, I don't like it do not recommend it's you know get it if you want to just keep it in your wardrobe and look at it every so often to think oh how pretty it is also get it if you do have a turtleneck with long sleeves that covers every part of your body that this may touch well this is the last item of clothing and, and I think I saved the best for last, accidentally. <laughs> I really, really like this dress. I think it is so sweet. It's from the petite range. So that is even better because it's above my knees, which makes it perfect. I think it is a bit hit and miss with puff sleeves and mesh. Um, you know, maybe not everyone suits the style. Maybe not everyone's comfortable wearing you know, mesh tops or depending on the type of mesh as well, it's, you know, some can be of better quality, others can be a bit rougher and, you know, just more scratchy on the skin. This actually is very, very soft, like I, you know, not even at the seams where there's like an elasticated bit, I can tell, like it's not scratchy there either compared to like, the, uh, you know, some of the other tops that I've tried on. I'm not 100% on the sleeves, I'll tell you honestly, but I'm not hating them. You know, they do fit, there's plenty of room, which is always good. So I think that's probably the biggest upside to, you know, having puff sleeves back in, back into fashion that I can wear things, <laughs> finally. <laughs> I mean, not that I couldn't wear things before, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, the sleeves tend to come up a bit tight as, you know, as you saw on that very first top that we tried on. It is comfortable. Um, you know, you haven't got anything on show that shouldn't be on show. This is this is definitely a really nice piece to end on because it's, you know, I love it, it's perfect, and this is definitely a keeper. Like, out of all of those things that I'm not entirely sure what I'm actually going to keep, well, no, actually, I think the leather jacket, definitely, um, and this dress are both definite. So, if you do see this in store and you find it in your size, I highly, highly recommend it. Well, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go leave it a thumbs up. All of the clothes that I showed in this video are linked in the description down below. And if you have any questions about them, leave it in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new here for more videos like this. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.